Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be organizing Marvel Champions the Card Game, designed by Nate French, Caleb Graves, and Michael Boggs, and published by Fantasy Flight Games. This is a fully sleeved copy of the game that's organized to get gameplay started as soon as possible and contains all the content all the way up to the newest Sinister Motives expansion. If you have any questions about anything you see here, please let me know down in the comments below. And for links to any of the items we talk about in this video, please check the description. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure that you do. It is the best way to help us grow. Let's get started organizing Marvel Champions the card game. Our storage system is divided into three different sections, with our container for tokens, our paper container, and then all of our cards in this large white box here. First, let's talk about the tokens. We store everything inside one of these hardware storage cases. You can get them at a Dollar Tree for a single dollar. You simply open up the lid like so and set them on the table and they're ready to go. This system is not only quick, but it organizes everything in a sensible way. I also love the upgraded burger tokens for the game. Notice we do not use any of the cardboard tokens. These are very nice epoxy stickers that you actually put onto pennies and they're double-sided so that you can easily count things by flipping tokens around. You don't need to go finding change or anything like that. They're also organized in a logical way here with your different status conditions, damage, generic counters, your extra threat counters, and then your threat in general. I love these tokens and once again links to everything I talk about in the description of this video. If you'd rather store your tokens inside of the actual box here, I recommend these dollar store small containers. You simply lift the lid off, put them underneath, and set them on the table, and then you have a dish that you can pull your resources from. Now, the reason I prefer the smaller tray is you only have to open one lid, but these are nice if you want to fit everything inside of these box, and they stack extremely nicely, so you can actually put them in the wells where you'll see later that we store the cars. So this is a great option if you'd rather store everything inside of the box here. Our next organizational tool is a simple blue folder. You'll open this up and inside you'll see that we have our rules references, our different campaign guides and rule books for the different campaign scenarios, and then additional supplemental content for your Marvel Champions experience. You can print out campaign logs for the different scenarios on the Fantasy Flight Games website, and that way you're not having to erase or redraw, you can just print out a new one. You can even store multiples for multiple campaigns here. Just store them and you'll be able to pick up where you left off. There's a lot of fan content as well for Marvel Champions, including things like hero challenges for the core game, so you can have a lot of fun with what you're putting into your binder here. And lastly, you'll store your reference material here, including your core game rulebook, rules reference, and then any supplemental material for expansions that may have confusing rules, like Doctor Strange's incantation deck or the Wrecking Crew and how they work with four villains at the same time. A simple folder is a great option for storing whatever you may need for Marvel Champions. And now we move on to the cards, all stored in this Super Monster box. The brand for the Super Monster storage box is BCW, and they feature a lot of these large column boxes that fit standard sized cards. You simply lift the lid off and everything is at your disposal. Inside, you'll organize those columns using index cards, a sharpie, and some scissors, and put them based on their title, in this case, maybe their aspect cards, the hero's name, and then organize them alphabetically so you can easily see where things go. You'll have to assemble the BCW boxes on your own, but they're very intuitive in how they work and they store things perfectly. Let's move this out of the way and take a look inside. As mentioned before, you just simply lift off the lid and reveal all of your Marvel Champions content below. The Super Monster box features five separate columns, and as you can see, there's room to grow, so this will be ready for all of the future expansions that are coming in 2022. We've got all of our villains here, our different modular encounter sets, our campaign cards, our heroes, the rest of our heroes, and then what brings us into our basic aspect cards, and then our specific aspect cards with aggression, justice, leadership, and protection. You'll notice that we have some cards sleeved and some cards not. That's because you have a lot of duplicates of some of these cards the more that you play a game. You only really ever need to have four of these energy cards sleeved because you can only have one per deck. So that's just something to be aware of. We do not sleeve all the cards, but just in case we have them in here. In order to sleeve our copy of the game, we use Ultra Pro Pro Matte Sleeves. I love the way they handle and they feel. I love the way they shuffle and they reduce the glare on your cards. We use the clear sleeves for everything that's double-sided and then for everything else, we use the white matte protector sleeves. Any standard size sleeve will work, but I definitely prefer that Ultra Pro Pro Matte feel. And if you want to see all of the art on all of your cards, you could just sleeve everything in the clear sleeves here. 
As mentioned before, if you'd like to use these smaller token containers and actually store them inside of the box, you can actually stack three of them at a time and then put them into your card areas like so. So if you're always using specific cards, you can put them like so or leave them scattered around. It's however you want to support and organize your system. As you can see, there are some other components in here besides the card, including foam blocks just to prevent things from moving around, but that will be fixed with the introduction of new expansions. We've got a small bag here that's going to store everything you're not going to be currently using. So for example, this is set up for true solo gaming. So we have three of our life dials in here, our status cards, because those have been replaced by the burger tokens, and then the first player marker, because you're not really going to need it if you're playing true solo. You can use just a standard plastic bag, but we've repurposed an Infinity Gauntlet love letter bag instead. You'll have your villain health dial and however many dials you're currently using for your heroes. And then we've got our larger sleeves for our three-sided heroes. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description of the video for these, but I found them on Etsy and they're really cool because they keep your cards protected and you don't have to bend them back and forth. So it'll make them last a lot longer. You simply slide this window here to turn into Ant-Man and then flip it over in order to turn into your giant form. And this is the same for Wasp here with her large form on one side with her Wasp on this side and Nadia Van Dyne on the other. I really love the way that these function. We've got silica gel packets in here just to prevent everything from warping and a pencil for your campaign play. The next thing I want to talk about is temporary storage. Currently, I'm playing some Ghost Spider, so I have her deck just simply out here and outside of the organization system. You can separate this and denote it specifically by using index cards, or you can just leave it out as it's pretty obvious that this is not Adam Warlock. Everything else will be remaining in the box here in alphabetical fashion with all of your heroes, your aspect cards, your encounter sets, and then your different scenario packs. The last thing I want to talk about is why use the column system instead of something like a binder. If you're using the column system, you can see your entire collection at a glance. Everything organized in the way that you see fit, whether it be alphabetical or if you want to have them separated, even in their aspects, by things like assets, upgrades, events, etc. It's easy to identify what you need and take out a large clump. And as I said before, you can organize this as finely as you would like, separating them by letters. And all it takes is a single index card to do so. When it comes to binders, the entire concept is bulky as well as slow. Most binders only have your nine special pages here, and they're going to be sliding on the sides, which is very nice for display purposes. You simply put them in like so. However, when you're actually playing the game, you're probably going to be using these cards quite a bit, which means you're going to have to constantly finagle, take out your cards, and a lot of times you're going to be playing multiple copies of the same card. So you're either going to be storing them so you can see them all individually or clumping them together, which is going to damage the binders as well. I've tried the binder system before. And while it does look great, it is too tedious to actually getting you to play the game, and it's going to serve as a barrier to not only your deck building, but your experience of Marvel Champions as a whole. And one last quick thing, if you're getting new cards to the game and you're using the column system, you simply move the cards like so and slot it where it needs to go. If you're using a binder, you're going to have to reorganize and restructure the whole thing to make room for all of the new cards you've just received, which is tedious, time-consuming, and prevents you from playing the game. For a less time and space consuming organization system, I implore you to use the BCW boxes. You still get to retain all of your customization and organization by simply using index cards instead and filing them wherever you find them appropriate. And that's everything inside of the box here. Let's go ahead and pack it up. We'll put all of our cards back in their appropriate places. Any decks of cards we're currently using supported by something like a foam block, silica gel packets, as well as our large character cards and health dials for the heroes and the villains. A bag that's going to contain any of the components you're not using and our pencil for campaign play. And that's organizing Marvel Champions the card game. If you have any questions about what you see here, please let me know down in the comments below. How do you organize your copy of Marvel Champions? What do you think of the new Sinister Motives expansions? What do you think of the new heroes and villains? Which are your favorite? What do you think of our organization system as a whole? Do you prefer using binders or do you like the BCW storage boxes like we do? We'd love to hear what you think. But thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.